Grade 5 Math number 38, Multiplication Patterns with Decimals. How can patterns help us place the decimal point in a product? Well, remember, this is the factor and that's the product. Okay? It's the answer. Well, we can move the decimal point right by multiplying a whole number by a decimal. Now, notice that whole number is written first and decimal is written second. It's whole number by decimal. So when the whole number is on the right-hand side and the decimal is on the left-hand side, then our answer is going to move to the right. See how the little arrows are going off that direction? 1 times 25 hundredths is going to stay 25 hundredths because anything times 1 stays the same, right? When we have 10 times 25 hundredths, because there's one zero, we move the decimal place one place over to the right. See that? When we multiply it by 100, there's two zeros, we're going to move it two times over. See the pattern? When there's three zeros, we're going to move it three times over. One zero, move it right one time. Two zeros, move it right two times. Three zeros, move it right three times. Okay? But that's for powers of 10. You multiply by increasing powers of 10, and the decimal point moves right. From this pattern, we know that as we add zeros to the thousand, the decimal point will continue to move right. See? We read a thousand. If we move it to 10,000, we now have four zeros, and it's going to jump four times to the right. One, two, three, four, and I had to add zeros there, see? Our 25 hundredths is now 2,500, see that? We had to add zeros in order to move that decimal place over. Well, we can also move the decimal point to the left by multiplying a decimal by a whole number. Now see? Whole number by decimal, decimal by whole number. See, now the decimal's first. So now we got the decimals on this side and the whole numbers here. You multiply 1 times 1,234 and it's going to stay the same, right? But if we move this decimal point over to in front of the 1, it's now 1 tenth, our answer is going to be 1 tenths. See, it's now 123 and 4 tenths. If we move it over so that we have 1 hundredth, our answer is going to have 34 hundredths. If we move it over so that the 1 is thousandths, our answer is going to be thousandths, 1 and 234 thousandths. As we moved it over, it moved over to the left another time. See that? So, to complete this pattern, we have it on the left. That means the decimal point is going to move left. 1 times 759 is still 759. A tenth times 759 becomes 79, 75 and 9 tenths. One hundredth times 759 is going to become 7 and 59 hundredths, hundredths, hundredths. One thousandth times 759 is going to become 759 thousandths. So as the decimal point was on this side of the 1, it got moved over one, two, three times. So in the answer, it moved over one, two, three times. See that? Moved over two times. It moved over two times in the answer. All right? So for powers of 10, if you don't know about powers of 10, you can go back and watch my grade 5 math video number 4. It explains the powers of 10, but I'll explain it real quick right now. We have 10 to the 0 power. Any number that has a 0 power is equal to 1. So it's like saying 1 times 4 and 78 hundredths, so it's going to stay 4 and 78 hundredths. 10 to the first power is equal to 10, so if we multiply that, then our decimal point is going to move from in between the 4 and the 7 to in between the 7 and the 8. It's going to move over one time. As we get to 10 to the second power, that's like saying 100, that's two zeros, then our decimal place is going to move over two times to the second power, move over two times. Third power is a three, move over three times. Do you see the pattern? Okay, so here's a rule to multiply whole numbers and decimals that I hope you can remember for the rest of your life. If the decimal is on the right side of the multiplication sign, okay, you can look at these to look at my rule. When the decimal is on the right side of the multiplication sign, like right here, it's on the right side of, here's the multiplication sign, and the decimal's on the right side of it, then the decimal is going to move right. See, it's green. 
And if the decimal is on the left of the multiplication sign, like here or here, here's the decimal, it's on the left hand of this multiplication sign, it's on the left, then the decimal is going to move left, okay? Now just remember, I'm not talking about multiplying decimals to decimals or whole numbers to whole numbers. This is only when you are multiplying decimals to whole numbers or whole numbers to decimals, okay? I know the word decimal was said about a hundred times in this video, but if you have to go back and watch the video again, it's no big deal. It's going to be a few minutes out of your life, but then you might understand it more. So try practicing this with your homework and watch how the decimal place moves over and just remember that we have a 1 in front of all of these. Okay? We're going to talk more about multiplying decimals. This was just a pattern of how the decimal place can move left or right. Okay? I hope this was at least somewhat understandable, and I hope that it helped you. See you next video. Bye.